We're here with Michelle Akers, two-time gold medalist um, in the World Cup for soccer and a gold medalist in the Olympics. And uh, we are having the U.S. rugby team train uh, at her farm. So thank you for having us. You're welcome. And I uh, just wanted to know what got you interested in rugby and what the connection is. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know the rules of rugby, but I've, when I've ever watched it on TV, you know, they always have like the cuts on their faces <laughs> and their blood and they're dirty. So I used to always think, oh, they're, you know, they're awesome. I love that. But... When I was training with the under-17 U.S. team in Chula Vista, Rick came down to the field and was like, Michelle Akers, Michelle Akers. And I thought, actually, I thought he was like, a, you know, like a soccer freak person. <laughs> and so I was like trying to like be nut. I don't hear you. But then he came up to me and he said, come meet my, meet the team. And I was like, seriously. So I was, I was pumped. So then I got to meet the team and then we became friends and you're here. Awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. And you mentioned that you should have probably been a rugby player. I think I missed my calling. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. So when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. And so I like that mix of football and, and soccer. I like the athleticism, but I like the physical part of the game, too. I, I, I like that total mix. Yeah, and we can tell in the way that you played soccer, you were a very physical yeah. player. So it seems like it would have translated really well into rugby. I think so. So what do you like about rugby? Well, I love the um, just how tough everyone is, and I like the mix between you know the physical part of the game and then the 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 finesse and then the athleticism of all the players and just and but mostly I like that just physical you know like it's legal to smash people I love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah, and you the way you played soccer, you were a very physical player, so it sounds like maybe rugby could yeah. have been a good career for you as well. Could have been a good career. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing playing soccer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But if you had one regret, I'm sure that's the one. That right? might have been it. That might have been it. Yes. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. We'll move on. <laughs> But so you're coming to the tournament this weekend, and yeah. you mentioned this is your first time watching rugby. Yeah. What are you excited about? Uh, well, the fact that, you know, multiple countries, it means a lot. You know, I like to watch the competitions that mean something. So, you know, the fact that you guys are going to be dialed in, focused, it's going to be intense. You guys are preparing for, you know, a world championship. Um, so that part I'm excited about. You mentioned earlier the 1996 um, Olympics were in Atlanta. First mm -hmm. time that women's soccer was in the Olympics. Yeah. You guys won gold, a really special moment for you, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but what does it mean to have this rugby tournament uh, and being able to see it here first in Atlanta? Well, it's, well it was cool um, because when I was in Chula Vista at the training center and then I was talking to Rick, your coach, um, he was telling me how the rugby team was a lot like the U.S. team You know, back in the day you know, when we first started and um, so I, I, I had no idea like I thought you guys were there you know so um, that part hit home for me and then and then you know I got to meet everyone um, and then we've kept in touch and so then it kind, of, it kind of has become personal it's like a little bit like come on you guys you know it's like part of me um, well it is because it's the US team but now you know it's these These guys, I'm, I'm a little bit invested in, so I want, I want to see you guys do well. I want to see the sport do well. Um, I want the um, American public to, you know, wake up and get, get in on it. Because if they like the women's soccer team and, and how we play, then they, they're going to love you guys. So it's a no-brainer. And if you have any words of encouragement for the team this weekend, what would they be? It would have to be like, you know, what's the beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> win. No, just win. Have fun. You know, that's what, that's what, that was my thing is I loved being out there. Loved being out there. And, I, and giving it all was fun. And, you know, running through walls to win. And, you know, when your whole team does that, it's so fun. So that, that's, I think that's the focus I would, I would take. You know, play, play your guts out and... Um, leave nothing behind. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Michelle. Yeah, Appreciate welcome. it. Thanks for having us. Sure. <laughs> All right, I'm here talking with Christy Ringenberg. Christy, I couldn't help but notice when you were walking up how googly-eyed you were. So uh, tell us a little bit about what Michelle Akers has meant to you. 
I grew up watching the U.S. soccer women's soccer team play. Um, I was a big soccer player when I was a kid, and I just I love the team. Michelle Akers is such a hard worker, and her mental fortitude is something that I've always admired. And to to be here and to meet one of your childhood heroes is a huge deal. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty special time for the U.S. national team being here. And uh, uh, you mentioned that you're a soccer player. Tell us about how uh, your experience with the uh, 1999. Um, World Championship uh, match. I was at a soccer tournament when the when the World Cup was going on, and they had an overtime and then shootout to afterwards. And we had to warm up for a game, but instead of warming up, we were all huddled around the back of a van <laughs> with this like old school tiny like transistor TV or whatever, <laughs> watching the final of the game. And we all got so excited, and then we just ran onto the field and played our game. And so, if there's one thing that you took away from that team um, that inspired you, what would it be, and why? I think they. They had a lot of team unity that they brought onto the field, and they they were a family much like we we say that we are a family. And they were on the forefront of women's sports, and they were just becoming popular. And I think we're just on the brink of that as well. You guys, you're, you're this close. Uh, at the end of practice today, Michelle presented the team with a gift. Uh, what was the gift, and uh, what was said to you guys? At the end of practice, she gave us the Wheaties box that she's on the cover of, um, and she said to us that we are on a very similar path to the U.S. women's soccer team, and we are on the brink of being champions, and it's about coming together as a team and being unified in our, our goal for greatness. Because when people who are watching that, they're gonna see your mentality in there, and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, they, they're gonna love it. And you guys, then you think you'll be world champions. So um, just don't forget that, you guys. That's, somebody asked me, how can we win? That's how you win. That's how you win.